Sorry, I had locked the uh, cat out of the laundry room so he couldn't get into his litter box. Oopsie. So, at any rate, um, the other goal that I have that I wanted to share with you guys because I was so excited. I'm getting into this thrift sale shopping. Um, we have a store called Savers. I don't know if they're national, but no different than like Goodwill or Salvation, Salvation Army. But um, one of the biggest things that was driving me crazy was looking for jeans because I'm in this transitional phase right now. And so one of my coworkers who's into thrift, sh uh, thrift shopping said go to Savers. Well, found some really great deals on uh, jeans um, that are already broken in and still are good quality. You gotta weed through them, of course. Um, but it was really cool on Martin Luther King Day, they had a 50% off sale. And I was talking with a coworker who inspired me. She didn't realize that she inspired me, but she did. Um, to get a gold pair of jeans. I mean, and it's like a ridiculous goal, y'all. So, uh, these are our Lucky. Can you see? Lucky brand jeans. And... Let's see if you can see the size. So this is my goal for by the end of the year. Eek. Can you see that? Eek. Yes, a size eight. So this has been really encouraging to uh, think about. It. I kind of feel like Oprah. I remember when she came out, she's like a bobblehead when she got into like her size. It might have been a size eight, but could have been a size six. Who knows? Um, so that's one of the things that I'm working on that's also recommitting me to my nutrition because um, you got to eat like a size 8, even though I'm a size 18, 16, 18, somewhere around there. Um, I need to be living my life like I'm a size 8. So that's one of the things I want to focus on. Um, and then I just finally wanted to talk about, you know, it really matters who you surround yourself with. I noticed last week there was a little bit of controversy um, on YouTube. In fact, I feel like there always is in some of these um, communities. I pay attention to the, well, not really pay attention, but I watch videos in the bodybuilding world. They had controversy. It seems last week or two weeks ago, the weight loss surgery community had controversy. You know, the problem is, is that's human nature, and everybody's entitled to their opinion, and not everybody's, you know, um, working with a sharp tool. So it brings out the crazy in a lot of folks. And But I wanted to say that I was grateful that I didn't know what was going on or who did what or whatever. My curiosity got the best of me, so I ended up trying to track down the C, um, and I saw it, and at the end of the day, you know, ignorance is bliss, and I'm glad that... I didn't get caught up in it, but I just wanted to validate, you know, one of the messages that I heard from um, Miss New York uh, 777 Chocolate. I know I just said your name wrong. I apologize. But, you know, just really talking about, you know, in any community on here that we should be about encouraging each other um, and supporting and not getting caught up in the petty things. And so one of the, the, the things that comes to mind for me and what I would encourage other people to think about um, is surrounding yourself with people who um, are going to sharpen you. And in fact, there's a scripture from the Bible, um, Proverbs 27, chapter 27, verse 17, that says, um, sorry, it says, iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another, which basically just means that you should keep people in your life who are going to strengthen you, sharpen you, help you to be a better person, and then, you know, and you conversely will do the same, reciprocate, you know, and I looked up on the internet, you know, when was this written, so the book of Proverbs and the Bible was written um, about 900 BC, which is about 3,000 to 4,000 years ago, which I find amazing because that's so relevant today. Um, and it's one of the philosophies that I like to live my life um, by my, I have an aunt who always said to me, 
you want to be rich, you need to surround yourself with rich people. And it's the it's a universal concept. You know, if you want to be fit, you want to be healthy, you want to be positive, you, you know, whatever it is, fill in the blank, surround yourself with people who exhibit that, who model that, who can speak that into your life. And so when it comes to YouTube, I really try to put myself in that positioning. And that's why I watch videos of people who um, who are straight talkers, who are real, who are transparent, who don't sugarcoat things, um, who are encouraging and supportive and um, humble, you know, about the, the gifts and things that they've gotten. And, um, I, you know, I saw some really interesting videos of people who are, you know, kind of caught up in this cycle of high school nonsense that plays out on the internet because of people becoming bold because they can hide behind you know this computer screen and it's just it's, it's so not worth it to me in the end and I, I really encourage people to surround yourself with people who will strengthen you and support you and encourage you through this journey we have enough garbage going on in the world the pope's resigning hasn't had we haven't had a pope resign in 600 years and you know, gas is going up, and it's cold, winter blizzards, and everything else. The last thing you need is to be worried about something on YouTube being silly or people just being silly. Um, so just want to say, surround yourself with positive people who are going to strengthen and encourage you. Um, the other thing I just wanted to share, I guess, is some food choices that I got. Um... I'm going to drop some folks down in the uh, information box. E.T., the hip-hop preacher. Y'all talk about motivation. I love E.T. Um, so powerful, so encouraging. Um, you guys should really check him out. I'm telling you, he will help you to center your thoughts and to challenge your thoughts so that you can be... Um, uh, all that you, you want to be. He has a, a new shirt that he just um, put out for his, his company, and, and it says, Be Phenomenal or Be Forgotten. And that is all about his message for um, staying on top of strengthening and sharpening, you know, whatever it is that you want to have, do, be, um, or, or live for the rest of your life. So E.T., Hip Hop Preacher, I've, I've put it in other videos. you got to check them out. International motivational speaker, corporate, professional sports, everything. Um, another um, person is uh, Jennifer. I can't think of how to pronounce her last name, but she's a personal trainer on YouTube. Great info on her Facebook page. Very encouraging, um, encouraging uh, YouTube videos. Uh, once upon a time, she, she was overweight herself. Uh, she's now 130 pounds, ripped six-pack abs. Uh, she struggled with an eating disorder, either anorexia or bulimia, but had to be hospitalized for it. Very transparent and real about her story. Um, she's phenomenal. She's from Rockaway, New York. Really cool accent. She lives in Cali now. Um, and then Andrea, who I mentioned before, she's going through um, physique well, basically bodybuilding uh, training. She has a show coming up in June, July, something like that. So she's documenting her journey and, and particularly her food. So that's going to segue me into just kind of sharing you. One of the key things that I um, did is this weekend is to go grocery shopping because just like, you know, you get tools for workout equipment, sneakers, heart rate monitors, you really got to have a, a pantry and refrigerator that has uh, healthy, nutritious um, choices because that's how you can get into trouble. That's how Sherry can get into trouble. So um, one of the things that I wanted to share that Andrea shared, now granted, I've had some sugar into my diet and some other choice carbohydrates just because I've been comforting myself through the sickness and um, concern about you know my health or whatever it's going to take me a minute to kind of get used to this but one of the things that um, Andrea likes to eat is this thanks can you see Walden Farms caramel syrup um, you can look them up on the internet um, and then do a search to see if you have a, a store that carries it so that you don't have to order from the internet. So the caramel syrup is another thing that she does for sweetening. Um, and then she also does this marshmallow dip. And 
then she also carries around their salad dressing. I got the Italian sun-dried tomatoes. And as you can see, they all say calorie-free. 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 So they have zero calories, zero fat, zero cholesterol, zero carbs, zero sugar, also zero protein. Um, and basically what I saw on their website is that everything is like concentrated natural flavors to give you, you know, to mimic what these would be if you traditionally bought them. Um, and just some of the other ideas and just to have on hand, um, I got almond milk, laughing cow cheese, mandarin oranges. I've been wanting some kale, so I got some fresh kale, which I found out, excuse me, I found out by the way has been affected by this winter weather has killed a lot of crops so for this little bunch of kale I paid two bucks it was ridiculous um, I got some cucumbers tomatoes yogurt celery apples grapes um, turkey breast from the deli saltine crackers or just well actually it's not saltine crackers like Petra Fra Petra's Farms crackers they were pretty decent in terms of uh, calories carbohydrates um, and what have you. That's because I, I did my crock pot chicken and I want to make some chicken salad so I wanted to have crackers to eat with it. Not that I need to have a carbohydrate. I could just be cool with lettuce and tomatoes but occasionally I like to have the choice. Um, eggs, uh, bacon, um, and yams, protein powder, um, instant coffee for my protein powder, protein shake. So that's just those are just some, some ideas. Um, that's really all I have for right now I really want to get better with the the videos um, but I'm so grateful for everybody else who who does who I you know watch on a regular basis or who I connect with on my fitness pal um, I'm able to stay more encouraged than I ever have in my life with tackling something like this because I've surrounded myself with people who fight the good fight every single day and model you know that this is what it takes, you know, that steadfast stick to itness um, to live a healthy life no matter what comes your way. So, um, God bless you guys. I'm so um, proud. This ended up being two videos thanks to the uh, cat interruption. Um, so, I will cut it here. Bye.